I'm Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Okrabet Health. On today's video, we're going to talk about how to fix the tightness that you're experiencing in your inner thigh when you squat. It may even be creating a hip shift for you and might be causing other types of problems or injuries when you squat. But we're going to go over how to fix that today. Before we do, if you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube, click that little bell notification, it notifies you every time I upload a new video. And at the end of today's video, if you found the information helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. So the muscle we're gonna focus on today is known as the adductor magnus. It's the largest adductor muscle of the inner thigh. It's the muscle that makes up that big, thick portion of the inner thigh. You can actually grab it with your hand. It's a very thick, strong muscle. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy. So the adductor magnus is a thick, strong muscle of the inner thigh. It's the largest of the adductor muscles. It comes off of the pubic area of the pelvis, attaches along the, the inside portion of the femur, it's, as an adductor, it brings the leg towards the midline. The adductor magnus also, though, aids in flexion of the hip and extension of the hip. So restriction with the adductor magnus uh, muscle is going to affect your ability to get into a nice deep squat. When you start to, uh, probably pretty much after about the halfway mark of, of squatting down, you're going to feel that tension, that restriction. If it's on both sides, it's going to affect just your, your deep squat in general. A lot of times it's one-sided restriction. It's going to affect your ability to, to, to get this. Uh, say if it's on my left leg, my left adductor magnus, it's going to affect my ability to open this side up. And a lot of times it can cause a hip shift towards the tight side. So what we're going to go over today is some techniques on how to loosen up the adductor magnus muscle. So the adductor magnus, like any muscle in the body, when it's put under duress, like when we're working out on a regular basis, and we have a lot of stresses and strains, you can have micro traumas, and over time you will build up what's known as fascial adhesions. It's a loss of elasticity in the tissue, you can think of it as scar tissue, and muscles will lose their ability to stretch properly. So just like you can think of it as, a, as if a muscle is like this rubber band, you can pull it and stretch as we move, when you have adhesions in the area, you can think of it as having knots. In other words, the, the tissue shortens, it becomes less elastic, it becomes more fibrous. You don't have the same mobility in there, which is why it's gonna affect your ability to squat uh, and, and perform movements where you need that muscle to stretch. Also, that, lot, loss, of lot, that loss of elasticity can, can result in tugging and pulling, and that's why you, you'll be more susceptible to injury and you can have pain in the area where you have restrictions. So we want to get rid of those restrictions. Now, I know a lot of times when something's tight, the first thing people think of is why well, I need to stretch it. You do, but we also need to get in there and break up some of those adhesions because you can't stretch something that's not stretchy. In other words, this band is stretchy, I can stretch it. A leather belt, I could pull on it all day. It's not stretchy material, it's not gonna stretch. And it's the same thing right now if you're dealing with adhesions in that adductor magnus. Before you can stretch it out, you need to get in there and try to break up some adhesion that, that's in there. We need to break up that adhesion. We need to get rid of the fibrous tissue and get it back to being an elastic, elastic tissue in there. To do the, uh, the job today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a massage ball. This is a Tai Chi Max ball from Okramed Health. Why do I love these balls? Because they're spiky, and spiky balls are much more effective at breaking up adhesions, and they're much more effective at breaking up deep adhesions. If you take a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball or something that's smooth, yes, you will stimulate some blood flow, you probably get some release in there, but it's not the same. You're not gonna get the depth of penetration that you get with the spiky ball, it's not nearly as effective. So today's technique, we're gonna go over with, I'm gonna show you first how to do some fascia release work on the adductor magnus with the Tai Chi ball, and then we're gonna show you some stretching. Okay, what I want you to do before you do the fascia release work on the adductor magnus, do perform a squat first, and, and I want you to feel the restriction, where it feels restricted. So drop down, say we have restriction on the right adductor magnus, I want you to feel where you feel the restriction, see if you are hip shifting to that side, just kind of, um, have like a ballpark of where you're at because I want you to retest it after you do the fascia release work so you can feel the difference. It's, it's actually pretty amazing. You're going to feel results immediately on, uh, after you do the release work, okay? So how are we going to do it? Um, get your leg, your foot up on something, a table, a, a, a bench or something like that. You want to get the ball, get it on the skin. So pull your short up a little bit. You don't want to be on material where it can slide around. So just you want to be on the skin with the ball. Now the adductor magnus starts way up at the pubic area and comes down the thigh. You can, it, you can, it's the thick 
uh, in the thigh muscle right here. You can't miss it. We're going to start up high. We're going to do first um, technique we're going to do is we're going to be pushing the ball into the muscle and pulling it up towards the pelvis. So we're pushing in and pulling up and we're trapping it. Hold firm pressure on the muscle. As you're holding this pressure, you're going to, you're going to come forward like this. And as you lean forward, I want you to take your other hand and pull that knee out to the side like that and go as deep as you can and put as much pressure on your knee, pulling it out as much as you can. Two or three seconds, nice and easy, and then come all the way back, release the tension with the ball. Then again, push in, pull back towards the pelvis, stretch forward, stretch, feel that stretch, you'll feel that trapped tissue under the ball, and then pull the knee out and hold it for two or three seconds again. We're gonna do it five times like that. After you do five times, now we're gonna push in and we're gonna pull down towards the knee. So now we're trapping it a little differently. We're gonna push in, pull down, and keep it trapped. And then we're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna stretch forward, keep stretching, feel that, 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 that tension where the ball is, and then pull the knee out. As much pressure as you can handle. And we're gonna do that five times. Then we're gonna move the ball. We're probably gonna do like maybe three different positions. So one way up high, one kind of in the middle, and then maybe one a little lower. And each time you move the ball, you're gonna do five times where you push in and pull back, and then five times where you push in and pull down. And you're gonna, so you're gonna do about three different positions and you're gonna do um, five times each way. Five times as you pull back and then five times as you pull in. After you do all those passes and all that release work, drop down into that squat again. You'll, you'll, you'll almost immediately notice your hip shift may be gone. You're gonna notice a much deeper squat. It, it, it feels awesome. You're gonna notice it right away. After you get done with that, then you're gonna do some stretching. Okay, following the fast release work, first thing I want you to do is I want you to drop into a, a deep squat. So I want you to squat down, and what I want you to do is just, I take my fist, I usually just put it in the palm of my other hand, I'm gonna put my elbows inside my knees, and as I drop down, I'm gonna use my elbows to pry open those knees. And I'm gonna drop down as deep as I can using those elbows to just keep pushing those knees apart. Don't let those knees come in. You're gonna feel it on the tighter side, obviously. So if my right side is tighter, you're gonna feel more restriction. And I just want you to hang out in this position, keeping firm pressure against the knees for 60 seconds. Just practice your breathing, try to relax, let the hips come down, keep that firm pressure on the knees and let that adductor magnus muscle just relax. Okay, and we're gonna end with this series of stretches. You're gonna get on the ground, one leg's out front, pull the other foot, put it right along the side of the, of the knee. I'm gonna stretch forward. Really make an effort to, to stretch the torso forward. Try not to drop the shoulders down as much. Then you get a better stretch on that adduct if you just kind of bring the whole torso forward like that. So I, I usually, I will keep my head and shoulders up. I'm not trying to push my head and shoulders down. I'm actually just trying to stretch forward. Like I'm coming towards the camera and I'm gonna hold this stretch for 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna switch it up. The foot should be kind of along the inside of the knee. Grab the foot, stretch forward. You should feel it right in, along in through here if that's the tight area. You might feel it in other areas if you have other issues with the hip. You know, there could, there could be other issues with the hip that could be causing your problem with the squat. But today we're talking about tightness in the adductor magnus. So you're gonna do it, uh, come forward this way, 30 seconds. Bring both heels in towards the uh, groin area. Grab your feet. Once again, I don't want you pulling your head and shoulders down towards your feet. I want you pulling your torso forward towards the camera like that. What I do a lot of times too is get your elbows out in front and use your, your arms to help push your torso forward like this. Hold for 30 seconds. And then if you're feeling brave, one final thing, get into uh, a nice straddle position and drop forward with the torso. Once again, don't pull your head down, just drop your chest towards the floor. Hang on in that position a little bit. A lot of times it's good to just kind of like go off to one side this way, hold that for 30 seconds, I'll go off to the other side a little bit, hold that for 30 seconds, and then of course we'll go down the middle and drop your chest you know, as close as you can to get to the floor. That may need a little more practice, but that's something you can add in. Practice that, you know, your straddle and your, your what's called a pancake position, practice it. Uh, all those stretches are excellent to loosen up the adductor magnus. 
All right, so get working on those techniques on every day. You're gonna notice some good, you know, a lot of times people will notice some good quick improvement. You'll notice your squat going deeper. You'll notice less shifting. If that, if the, adduct, if the adductor magnus was causing the shifting, you'll notice less shifting. So keep at it. You know, a lot of times these things can take time though. You know, be patient. It could take a few weeks, but be persistent. You know, we're just looking for progress, not perfection. Best of luck to everybody. If you haven't done so already, take a moment, go to my website, www.okramedhealth.com. We have a full line of fascia release products, including those Tai Chi Max Balls. They're in stock, so check, check it out when you have a chance. If you haven't done so already, pick up a copy of my new book. It's called A Fitness Carol. It's available at www.afitnesscarol.com. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health, on YouTube. Questions about exercise or injuries, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do the best I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okramed Health is here to keep you fit forever.